Breaker. This is a very interesting scoop. Can you see that? See how long this is? We'll start right there and we'll go all the way down the width of a tailgate and we'll go on down. Hey guys, I wanted to show you some of the scoops and some of my magnet fishing equipment that I use. Um, I have two different scoops. I have one, my main scoop, which is a customized scoop, which is developed from another two-piece scoop that I use when I travel. Went to the Bahamas one year, and when I travel from state to state, I use that, or travel to Latvia, I use that scoop because it breaks down and goes into the, uh, the uh, uh, suitcase very easily. And, uh, but I have these other scoops over here that I have made too. And I wanna show those to you, show you my magnet fishing setup and maybe give you some ideas that you can do this as well. And, and if you find any success with what I have here that you do it, then uh, please make a video and show me. So let me show you what I've got. Now, the first thing I wanna show you is just my regular scoop. This is just a regular, at one time it was a two piece scoop and um, it would just screw together right here and it kept coming apart, coming apart. Finally, I just took it down to a welder and I told him to put me on a longer handle and just weld that thing together and it did. So now it's all TIG welded and a little bit longer. And I said, when you're at it, go ahead and put a handle right here because that's real easy when you're scooping up, you got this handle. The only thing I wish, I wish I would have put it just a little bit lower, maybe about right here. But it's just a regular six, a six inch wide scoop with a stainless steel lip on it that I had replaced and I've already, I've already bent it up this year and I've got my scoop cam uh, set up. I put my GoPro right here and get the inside of the scoop, but also I can bring it up this way and point the camera, this thing turns. And so I can spin the camera around this way and I can do a uh, shot back at me. And that way I only have to have one camera. I don't have to carry a bunch of different cameras with me and have a bunch of different setups. And so I tether this on uh, as well with that tether right there. That case, if this ever breaks, this plastic, I'm not gonna lose my GoPro. And so uh, the other thing I wanna show you is uh, this, this scoop right here. This is a very interesting scoop. Can you see that? See how long this is? We'll start right there and we'll go all the way down the width of a tailgate and we'll go on down. It is actually 10 feet long and this is called a flea scoop. Uh, they get these fleas, what the uh, sand fleas there on the beach and they use them for fish bait. And that's all this is. It's just a uh, scoop, uh, 15 inches wide, about six inches deep. Got a little uh, grate right there that's big enough to hold uh, rings. Ring, you know, small rings may come through, but the big rings will definitely be there and other stuff. I just took the handle off and I put on a piece of electrical conduit, a, a 10 foot piece of electrical conduit, and just bent the hand right, the handle right here to where you can see it's faced that way and just put a noodle on it. And the way this is designed is that you just, let me get out of the sunlight, maybe you can see it just a little bit better, and uh, just go out and the way it's angled, it's going to dig down into the sand and you're just bringing it in this way. And as you're coming up, you'll come up just like this and shake it out. And uh, I have found some good stuff with this long handle scoop. And I normally do it, like I said, at the end of the year. And uh, the best thing that I've ever found out of this is actually a silver eagle, believe it or not. I found a silver eagle. I thought it was a walk in liberty until I got home. It was a silver one out, silver round. So that's very interesting. But anyway, I'm going to take this out today and uh, we're gonna give it a try, and we're gonna make a video of that uh, this afternoon. The other setup is my little bag right here that I have set up for my magnet fishing. Now, just a little bitty uh, bag that I had laying around in the garage. As you can see, it's got all the rope in it. And then here is my magnet. This is my cover that I built for this. It's a 500 pound magnet in here. I just took this four inch piece of PVC. I put a, uh, it was a, a threaded collar. I mean a slip collar, I put the cap on it and it had a thread on this end. And I just took and drilled out a hole and cut a slit and that way when I put the magnet in there, this just goes right down there. And now you don't have to worry about that magnet attaching to your toolbox or things in the, in the, in the house or in the, in, the, in the car and getting your hand in between it. it uh, it's, it's not going to reach through here. And so that's a neat little thing, it's just PVC, 4 inch is all it is. And then 
here is my magnet. I also put a piece of styrofoam down in the bottom of this and it kind of just gives a little, little bit uh, cushion. But this is a 500 pound magnet and I've uh, got it hooked on. But what a lot of times if you don't uh, watch out, you'll get this hooked up on uh, different logs and stuff. I just got a piece of a uh, oil f uh, funnel, cut the end of it off and just put it on that. And that way that I'm dragging, this is always catching and, and getting me over the logs and the sticks and things like that. And so when I'm done, I just put it in there. I just put that back on there and I just screw it back in. It's all safe. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. There we go. Get it all the way down and just put it back in the thing and we'll zip it back up. And that is my magnet fishing setup. That is ready to go. And so let me get you back here. <clears throat> so now you've seen my scoop that I use on every one of my water hunting videos. I uh, haven't done very many magnet fishing videos. Haven't had great success magnet fishing. The best time I ever had was I went up with Nugget Noggin up in Jefferson, Texas and I got my magnet stuck onto a railroad trestle. And he wouldn't let me go out there. He said I was an old man. He wouldn't let me go out there. So him as a young man went out there for me. I appreciate that. We had the hardest time getting it undone. You have to watch that video. He has a, an episode of it and I have an episode as well. Uh, I was filming him and uh, and so you need to watch that's funny but we're going to take this long handle scoop right here we're going to go out to the lakes today and we're going to put this to the test I haven't used it in a while the lakes are not real busy right now so uh, I'm gonna go out there today and see what we come up with so I will see you in the water with this scoop and we'll see what we can get find find today let's go all right let's uh, get loaded We'll go around here, let's drop in. You ever seen the back of my toolbox? Got all my detector stuff, my water stuff, tarp, all that kind of good stuff. We'll take the scoop and we'll get the scoop in here. And we will take this long handle thing. And the thing about it is I can't get it too much longer because I got to haul it in the back of my truck. I normally just put it in here and shut the tailgate and I kind of just angle it over like that and it's okay let's close this all right I'll see you in the water And the one thing about this sand scoop that does really good, if you can be in a lake that has a sandy bottom where you can kind of drag it, it does a lot better than finding these lakes that have leafy bottoms or real clay bottoms. Clay bottoms is okay. If it stays on top, it can dig in and get sticky. But uh, the sandy bottoms. So here at this lake next to my house, this lake is, swimming area is built on like a corner. And so the corner is a real sandy point. And so I'm gonna go out as far as I can go uh, to about chest deep and then I'm gonna start scooping out and just kind of work myself back and forth upon this sand see what we come up with so if I find anything I'll definitely turn the camera on and show it to you so hopefully we can get a ring that's what we're going for out past what uh, detectors can detect and uh, so hey I don't know I have no expectations here uh, we'll just see what we get so let's try it and let's do it I'm here now let's go for it so you can see I'm just taking it and just running it out as far as I can go and then it's sinking down and once it hits the bottom I'm just kind of gradually drawing it up and uh, kind of keep a little pressure on it and let it sink down in the sand you got to kind of find go out deep as you can stand but you got to be far enough back to where your body weight is still keeping some weight down or it's going to float you around and you can't do it so and then I just bring it up and just bring it up like a regular scoop 
and there's a rock so we've got a rock so it's just a big chance like magnet fishing you never know what you're going to get so it's something different it's a different type of a uh, detecting treasure hunting i've been trying to do so hopefully we'll find something if we can find one thing we've done good so let's keep at it another thing about to work in this long handle scoop you're you're going out and you're bringing that stuff in and it's kind of bringing up it's bringing up to a ledge up to a ridge and so about chest deep is where i'm making my ledge uh the extra sand that i'm bringing up and so when i'm through i'll go get my detector and i'll work this line where i brought everything up just in case i brought something up and i didn't get it in the scoop but i brought it up closer i can still check that with my detector and do a little bit of detecting then so i've been out here about 20 minutes haven't got anything but rocks but uh hey you never know until you try right let's keep on going we're working this point where it's real sandy out here and uh so i got something in here i've already seen it i saw, saw it brought it up i want to show you guys this it pays off to be persistent let's where'd it go oh no did i lose it no nah, there it is there it is there you go y'all see it in the basket right there it out it's kind of hard to do this with one hand hang on let me uh put you right here looking at me all right and there we go there's a stainless steel ring and uh out here i'm at about five foot this is going out 10 feet past me so probably about eight foot of water it's on a sandy bottom so this stuff is not going to really it's got clay underneath it's about two or three inches of sand and clay so i'm keeping my angle down and digging down into the sand and bringing it up and that's what i do this for when i've detected this lake many times and i haven't found much uh in the last couple of videos you've seen me I've been out in the very deep water and that's where I'm finding the ring. So I'm trying to go out even further now with the lake level still being up at normal level. I'm trying to go further. So it takes a while. I've been out here about 30 minutes and got a lot of rocks, a lot of mussel shells. and got my first little stainless steel ring. So I'm gonna stay at it and uh, keep working this point just a little bit more and see what we can come up with. So that's uh, hopefully for a big gold ring. That's what I want, big gold right. ring. Let's get at it. It does, this is a workout if you're not used to it. Plus you need to wear a pair of gloves because repetitive action on this uh, conduit it's making my hands raw so i'm going to call this a day as far as for this i've got that one ring and i knew there would be something out there i still know there's more rings out here in the deep uh it's just whether or not you can get over it with a 15 inch wide uh scoop you know just to have to get down on top of it and uh but now that i brought that i was telling you earlier now that i brought that line of dirt up I might have brought something up with it and uh, you can kind of hear through the handle when you hear something when you hit something metallic like a ring or a rock or something like that you can hear it hit that uh, metal uh, and feel the vibration through it and if it's a fairly good size ring most times you feel the rocks and the muscles but i'm gonna go get my detector now and i'm gonna work this line and uh see what we can come up with hopefully might find something so let's go get the detector and let's get the detector stay down the lake's about an hour maybe a little bit over an hour and uh, i only found that one ring on the long handle scoop sand scoop and then i took my detector and i worked the line where i had draw drew the sand up and uh, found an ear ring and uh, but that's all i found i really didn't want to hunt anymore because i've hunted this lake so much and so frequently there's really nothing out out there you know but uh everything i think is out deep and uh so i may come back out here with the long handle sand scoop and keep working the other side and go out a little bit deeper and it's just it's all by chance you might get on top of something you might not and uh, i had known i knew on that point there was some jewelry out there because i remember hearing some teenagers talk about how they lost uh i think a necklace and a cross and i found the cross i never did find the necklace uh the chain part so i know a chain is out there still unless someone else has got it. i don't think so they were out deep and uh so anyway i hope you enjoyed the video uh about my sand scoop about my magnet setup magnet fishing setup and my long handle scoop so if you make a long handle scoop uh, it's better if you can get in a confined swim area that way it's not like this is an open area lake swim area and uh, so everybody's spread out but if you can get into a confined part then it, you can really get more concentrated and find more stuff like that i may try that later on this week at another swim area that i go to about an hour from me but anyway i hope you enjoyed the video and until we see each other again, I just want to wish you happy hunting and God bless.